Hey, how's it going? This is Eric with Solve Cycle Solutions. I'm a no-code and automation specialist, and I'm here to help save you time from doing the work that you hate so you can focus on what you love instead. And in this video, I want to show you how to set up custom notifications to your Android phone from any software. So if you want to get detailed, tailored URLs or notifications sent directly to your phone, then you've come to the right place. Let's get to it. Let's dive into my screen and I want to just explain briefly why I use this notification method to go to my phone instead of any other automated process. So every morning I try to fill out just a daily task form. I take a few minutes to just write the goals I'm trying to accomplish, as well as trying to highlight some of the client projects that I'm wanting to prioritize, as well as things that I'm working on in my business. And this just helps me get organized right from the start of my day and helps me feel like I have more of a drive to push through the day. So to me, it's really important that I get this form filled out. So the problem is that if I were to try and pull up this form from Smart Suite or fill this or pull this up from my email or Slack, I'm immediately going to get a bunch of notifications or see a bunch of things that are going to distract me or bury this form so that I'm not going to fill it out. So I want to fill this out before I even sit down at my computer desk. And for me, like I said, I don't want to put this to email because that's going to get buried. I don't want to try and pull this up through Slack for the same reason. So I want to make a direct customized notification to my phone so that I know that I can just click that it's going to pull up the form that I need and I can fill that information out there. I don't have to do it by my computer and I can do this while I'm making coffee or if I step outside for a minute just to enjoy some fresh air before diving into an all day staring at the computer screen session. So again, I've talked about this particular form that I've built in another video. So I'm happy to share that video in the the box above my head or somewhere in the description of this video. But the pr main process for getting this set up is very easy to do inside of make.com. I just want to show you how to do that in what is hopefully a short video here. So this form is set up, is tied to a smart suite record in a daily task tracker. You can see there's a lot of information here and it's very overwhelming. So again, why I don't try and pull that information directly from smart suite first thing in the morning um, what i'm going to do instead is i've set up a trigger automation with that database that i use and you see that this is set up with the pull trigger so that means that at certain points this automation is going to run and i can set this up to be it says currently run at regular intervals every 15 minutes we can change this to days of the week. So for me, I'm going to set this for Monday through Friday. And then I'm also going to set this to run at 730 in the morning. So if I hit OK here, that's great. So the record is going to be created, which then creates this form because this particular form is tied to a specific day. I don't have it set up so that the I submit this information to a form. There's a couple of other automation processes that I've built in to try and collect my specific tasks that I need to prioritize that day based on due dates. So that's more of a whole other video and I don't want to go too in depth with that. So if you're interested in learning more about that particular process, let me know and I'm happy to make a video about that. Uh, just post it in the comments and we can go from there. But for now, all I want to do here is send a notification to my phone. So if I go down here to the Android widget, and yet there's a lot of different options I've talked about before, but the one that I'm looking for is under notifications, where it says send a push notification. So all I need to do here is just 
select a specific device integration. In this case, I set up this example phone in a previous video and the process is pretty straightforward. You just need to download the app through the Play Store and then scan a QR code that will pull up in your Make account on your computer and scan that from the mobile app. So it's pretty easy and then you'll have access to make sure that your system is communicating with each other. Now, one brief clarification in case you watch the other video that I show discussing how there is actually a special download you have to do in order to send text messages from your phone through Make. Uh, you don't have to use that for this particular process. That's only an issue for trying to send information out from your phone. So if you're confused about that, just gloss over that and you can watch this other video that I did about sending text messages that are automated through Make through your Android phone. And basically, the three things that we need to do here are we need to have a title. So in this case, I could just say something like, hey, it's time to get started. Fill out this form so we can get our day going. It'll be something as simple as that. And then you have the option for the click action. So in this case, this is basically saying when you click this notification, does anything happen or does it just kind of disappear? This particular notification, like I said, you could customize it however you want. So you may want to pull information when someone makes a business transaction with you and it could go directly to your phone saying, hey, this person just purchased your service for X number of dollars or you may want to send just daily reminders for yourself for certain tasks and you don't need a link. But in this case, I want since I want to open this, I'm going to select the open URL and then I can go into the create a record process and it's going to have all the information preloaded for my task record. And you'll see here that I have this programmed fill out form for morning task form and that's all I have to do. I could click the advanced function and I'm going to leave this as no, mainly because with the collapse push notification, I just want to make sure that this is there and that I can click it and it's not going to disappear. So I'm going to turn the show advanced settings off and this is almost ready to go now. So now that we have this set up on the computer side, let's take a look at the notification side and see how this is going to go. One thing I do want to show you here is that if I go into settings and I'm going to look for the make uh, app, I do need to make sure that I turn on notifications, specifically just the notifications channel and services channel. I don't need alarms, but the main thing is just that if you try this out and it's not working, double check there because that is the only thing that can restrict the notification banner coming in on your phone. So just looking at my screen here, if I wanted to run this process, I'm going to, from my computer, click the run once and give the record a chance to go. And you'll see on my screen here that there's this little M at the top now. If I scroll down, you'll see that it says, hey, it's time to get started, just like I said. And from there, I can click this form and internet's going to run a little slow, of course, but you'll see that I have this all easily accessible and I don't have to go through so many levels to extract this form to make sure I'm filling it out regularly. I just have to click that notification and fill that out. And sure, maybe there are times that this is going to go in when I'm on vacation or if I'm just sick one day. I can ignore that and that's fine too. The point is that I can just take this information and say, I'm going to record a video and I could take a look at what's going on with client projects and then just hit submit from there and I'm all set. So that in a nutshell is how to set up the custom notifications for your Android phones. As you can see, this is just one particular process that I set up for myself, but the potential for the kinds of notifications you may need in your business is exponential. So 
if it's something you need to, a notification when tasks are missed for specific users and you want it to go to the top of your phone instead of being buried in a series of Slack messages, that is something that can help you there. Now, granted, if you're using several notifications in your banner, a lot of things might get buried. So do keep that in mind that it may be helpful, but having less of those notifications can be more. I hope you got a ton of value out of this video and found something that you can be applying into your business or even your personal lives to help save you a little bit of extra time every day. Just know that if you found this process useful and would like to learn a little bit more, please let me know in the comments as I would love to know what type of automated no-code solutions you're looking for. Also, if you try and implement this and get stuck, or if you're working on a different automation solution for your business, feel free to schedule a free consultation with me, and you can do that by clicking the link in the description of this video or scanning the QR code that should appear somewhere around now-ish. Once you fill that information out, you can see for yourself how much time you can save in just 30 minutes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you found this helpful or useful or somehow entertaining, please subscribe to the channel just to help me grow or share this video with someone who may benefit from having this particular automation set up, and I'd love to help them as well. But that's really all I have to say for this particular video, so I'll see you in the next one. Take care.